I'm Lisa Roden and I'm the new registrar here at Ochre Hills Middle School. Um, I've worked here for the last four years and I absolutely love working here and I'm excited for this new position and to work with all of you. The other secretary in the Counseling Center is Lynn White. She is part-time, um, but when you come in here you'll be dealing with either she or I. Our main responsibilities here in this office are to maintain student records. We make sure that student immunizations are current according to what the state of Utah requires. And we make sure that everyone has a schedule and receives credit for their classes. We also call a lot of students down for a variety of reasons, either for counselors or school psychologists or sometimes administrators. We will send a note with a student aide to let you know that a student needs to come down and meet with any of those people. Uh, the notes are color coded. Blue notes means uh, just to come down and meet with the counselor, school psychologist. Uh, if you are in the middle of something that can't be missed, please feel free to call us, let us know. We can probably have them come down at a later time. If it is urgent, we will mark urgent on the note and then they need to be sent down immediately. Between about November and February, the counselors will be conducting PCCRs. These are meet meetings that are scheduled by parents to meet with their students and their students' counselor. We will use a green note to send for students at that point uh, when it's their scheduled PCCR. You need to send them immediately because there's a parent waiting to meet with them in the office. If they're almost done with the quiz or they're really close to being done with something important, just give us a call and parents are usually understanding and will be willing to wait a few extra minutes. But if not, I'm, it, this is just has to, they need to come down immediately. Um, another responsibility we have here in the office is to administer student health plans. Please remember that these are extremely confidential and they're all varied. Each one is different from, from another. If you have a student with a health plan, you will receive a hard copy of that health plan. We ask that you put it in your sub plan so your subs will always know. And we want everyone to be informed as to how each child needs to be treated and, and handled. An example of some of the wording you might see in a health plan is if a student asks to come to the counseling center, let them come, no questions asked. Uh, we want to follow what's written in the health plan. So if you are concerned that a student is abusing that or that they're not really going where, where they want to come, um, you're, you're free to call us and let us know that they're coming down. We always want to give the student the benefit of the doubt and um, err on the side of the student. So please know that when we send them back to class, we will always send them with a time and date stamped note so you will know that they were actually here and what time they left our office in case um, you're worried about that. But please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions on those health plans. Dispensing medication is another thing we do in this office. You might receive an email requesting uh, that you release a student five minutes early from class so that they can come down and take care of their medication requirements. We will encourage the students to work with you so that they can come up, you can come up with some sort of a signal or a way that you will know each day that they're leaving class without being disruptive to the class. We want this to be uh, as discreet of a process as possible for them and for you. So um, please work with those students so that you can be on the same page there. There are times we will be collecting homework for students. There are two color-coded forms that we use for this. Uh, the pink one is for sick students, and the yellow one is for students who are in suspension. If you receive one of these forms, please write a response, even if it is just to say there is no homework or please check Canvas. That way we know, the parents know, everyone knows that you, each teacher has been contacted and we're all on the same page. Um, you can send the homework down to the Counseling Center or please feel free to send it with a student aide who is bringing you the slip. Uh, again, I look forward to, meet, to working with all of you and it's gonna be a great year here at Oak Hills.